besties welcome to my channel so as you guys can tell today i'm gonna give you guys a little tutorial um on shading so this is gonna be advanced but yeah let's start with uh getting a very simple t-shirt outline if you're watching this video then i'm going to um assume that you already know how to make clothes and just want to learn how to shade better also there are like renovations um happening in the house next to mine so i'm sorry for the loud noise anyways yes bestie um i also this is my first time doing a voiceover recording and genuinely i didn't think that i would do one this soon but here we are because i'm kind of lazy to make captions as you can tell but yes anyways so let's just continue so i'm just like touching up the whole uh shirt thingy and we can begin shading in a second so firstly i like to pick a shade that is darker i don't like to touch the one where it has the black gradient thingy i just like to move it to a darker shade and i draw straight lines here's me struggling to uh draw the lines but yes and essentially you just this is called box shading and you basically just draw boxes like all around the um what do you call that the outline of the shirt if that makes sense and i like to accentuate it uh, uh using the gaussian blur under blurs and yeah so that is essentially how you do it then you just change the opacity downwards this is very straightforward and you can adjust it to whatever setting you like next i go on to um a new layer and i do the same thing except they these are only vertical lines at like the sides uh, I made a mistake there, but don't worry, I will be uh, erasing that in a second. And for the front and back, I like to draw thicker lines so that it's easier to shade because the sides have much uh, smaller areas, if that makes sense. Yeah, so um, this shading technique does uh, use a tool from a plugin, which I will link in the description box below. And basically, you can just copy my settings if you want or just whatever works best for you. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm making feather-like strokes um, so that it looks like wrinkles at the side of the shirt. And I make them uh, more feathery, less dense, and very lightweight so that they look a bit more natural. And I also try to follow the uh, shaping of the natural body, if that makes sense. You guys can just copy what I'm doing. Um, honestly, this does take quite a while. And you can just do like the front part and then copy and paste it to the rest. But I find that it looks more natural if I do a different one for each one. But overall, they all do look kind of similar, if that makes sense. Uh, not really sure how to describe it, but yeah. And the parts that stay white are essentially like the highlights already. So you don't have to go through this with like a lighter color uh, or anything like that, which is why I like shading this way. And you can honestly skip this because in the next uh, few parts of this video, you're going to see I do numerous other shading. Shade, oh, sorry, my voice. <laughs> numerous other shading. So, you know, you can skip this. But honestly, I just feel that it looks a bit more natural because uh, clothes usually hug our body. And for the Gaussian Blur settings, I set it at about 5 to 4. Uh, that's how much I usually do it. And I lower the opacity. Now, I'm going to create um, a little bit more wrinkles, so I keep my hardness at very minimal levels, usually zero. And I just draw like these random strokes around, and using the same tool, um, I just make the ends of it much lighter. I like to make the brush slightly bigger than the one that I used to draw the lines. Um, this is to make sure that I don't miss out any of it, and it looks more natural and feathered. Honestly, this took a while, and I have no idea why, but probably because I was just trying to per, uh, perfect it. It honestly doesn't have to look that good. As long as the ends are feathered, etc., it will look fine. Um, and yeah, so this is essentially how I do it. I just run over the lines, make it blurry, make the ends long and feathered and like fading outwards. Um, basically like this. I'm sorry for the background noise. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's essentially how you, I did it. And when I'm done with that, I just press OK. Then I add some Gaussian Blur. Uh, so settings also, I kept it very minimal, very low. And I changed the opacity uh, so that the lines are not um, as harsh. And I, for this one, I just copied and pasted it everywhere because the wrinkles honestly don't really matter. They look around the same for all parts of the body uh, compared to the previous ones and yeah so that's essentially what i did 
Um, I mirrored it from the left to the right so that it doesn't look exactly the same and it looks more like continuous and cohesive, if that makes sense. And um, right here, my opacity uh, settings are way too high, but I will fix it towards the end of the video. Uh, you can fix it now. And I'm sorry if I'm breathing like really loudly. But yeah, so now I'm just making the highlights. Another way that you can do this is by just inverting the colors, but I feel like the uh, new highlights would make a lot more difference because it just looks a lot more natural and not very forced. And I I like to do minimal highlights, honestly, because I feel like the shading looks much better than the highlights. Uh, but to each their own, you know. And I also put Gaussian Blur and I just changed the opacity. For the highlights, I like to change the layer settings to an overlay, but because this is such a light pink, the uh, highlight color remained as white, so unless you're doing like a very dark color, this isn't very needed. Uh, yeah, and again, the highlights are like way too harsh, if that makes sense. They kind of look like a bald cat skin right now. It's kind of gross, but just, just bear with me for a second. And so, yeah, that's basically just what I did for the um, the little wrinkles. And then I like to accentuate the collar a little bit just by uh, drawing a little line and then just gosh and blurring it. I took a long time to perfect it because today uh, I forgot to make the collar like beforehand. So I had to use like an eraser to get the shape out. And I don't usually do that, so, you know, the shape looks a bit wonky today. <laughs> and if you cannot already tell, this is taking... A very very long time so i apologize you can skip like a few seconds and honestly you won't miss anything and afterwards i basically just mirrored it to like the bottom if that makes sense like i copied and pasted it and then i just shifted it to the bottom and i made a few changes so that the lines are more um like the lines join towards each other to form like a nice oval circle type of shape if that makes sense. And then I just added Gaussian Blur and decreased the blur settings. I mean, sorry, the layer opacity settings. And that's all I did for the shirt. And um, around here, I realized that the shading was a bit too dark. And I was like, mm, I don't really like it. It looks really freaking weird. It looks like wrinkles on a bald man's head. So I just uh, changed it a little bit, if that makes sense. I hope you guys are following along okay. Um, if I'm too fast, you can, like, slow it down a little bit. Because, honestly, I think I talk quite fast. I'm really sorry. Uh, but as a debater, yeah. So I'm just changing the setting so that it looks much better now. And I do like to do a lot of shading. In case you can't tell, you don't have to do all of this. But it's a tutorial. Now I'm going to move on to the sleeves. Uh, again, if you are even watching this video, you should already know how to make clothes. But if not, you can just follow along. I just added some of the segments and I just colored it in using the uh, paint bucket function. Yeah. And also, do you guys like like <laughs> my new, uh, what do you call that? Template? I just made it because I thought that I was really sick of using the Robux one. Anyways, moving on to shading the sleeves. I did the same uh, box shading thingy. And I only did it on one because honestly, there's no point in doing it on all of them and wasting the time. You can just copy and paste it later. And yeah, so that is what I did it. I tried to perfect the lines as much as possible. And it's just box shading again, Gaussian blur, then decrease opacity settings. And so for the sleeves, I created little, uh, how do I say this? Like swirly lines. So they kind of look like they are puffed and wrinkled and this is just one way of shading sleeves um but this is how i usually shape my sleeves sorry i have a stuffed nose um but yeah and then i just blurred the lines a little i made it a bit more feathery like what i did with the wrinkles on the shirt uh you can just copy what i'm doing if you need any assistance you can just comment and i will be more than glad to help you but all i did was create little swirly shapes uh made it blurry then added gaussian blur uh, my blur settings were at like 4 and then I changed the opacity and so that because these are the sleeves I thought that it needed a bit more highlights so I essentially uh, repeated the process but with um, white 
and yeah so I repeated it with white and I made little highlights obviously much lesser than that of uh, the darker parts like the shadows but more than that of the shirt and similarly uh, it, I lost the thing uh, in this part of the video so you see me struggling to get back to it because I couldn't find it because I uh, made it a bit too big but yeah I found it at the end and yeah so I just made it more feathery spread it out a little bit made it a bit more co cohesive and yeah I just I don't know I like spreading shit out it looks much better and I feel like the lines look less harsh so yeah they're shouting <laughs> outside my house right now and yeah same thing gosh and blur and there you go honestly i thought this looked really cute um i'm actually really proud of this because this is like a a recent style you know and for the shoulders i just copied and pasted the shading from the uh what you call that the sleeves onto there because you know <laughs> yeah so that's just what i did um i also did a bit of box shading on the sleeves but honestly it's pretty self-explanatory it's essentially like the rest of the shirt and the sleeves and honestly if you don't like the sleeves looking very scrunched then you can just do the same thing that i did for the shirt just smaller and uh slightly denser onto the sleeves and the top if you guys want it to look that way but if you want it to look a little bit like um a satin texture then i would recommend adding a lot a lot oh, that was very aggressive sorry a lot of highlights and um in this part i recognized that the sleeves were a tad bit too dark compared to the actual shirt so i'm just adjusting the opacity levels and um uh, making it uh fit better in a way you know what i'm saying yeah so i usually only do one um top one like shoulder and one arm box then i just copy and paste it on the rest of it I feel that it looks much better this way because it looks actually like symmetrical and the shading isn't different for like every single one <laughs> sorry excuse me i'm kind of sick right now but yeah so in this part of the video again i'm just copying and pasting it everywhere so that's essentially just how you shade honestly i think that shading is pretty easy um for shirts but if you guys want i can make a more in-depth shading tutorial on shading things like jeans uh pants skirts because while the shading is relatively um the same it does also take quite a bit of time to get used to uh the different textures and things like that and also how to make certain effects appear but yeah that's essentially all you have to do <laughs>